Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. This is my May favorite video. So let's get started. That's not like anyways. Let's see what we're gonna talk about. This is Oh, I got oil. Mm hmm It was the Yes, I got oil. Gotta love it. When I straighten my hair out, which I did not record, which I didn't really straighten it out. It started as a straighten out, but I blew my hair out and that was just too much work. So I like to get it. I'm gonna do another hairstyle because I don't have time to straighten it out. But anyways, this put this on your hair. What? It left my hair feeling soft and feeling smooth. Not really smooth. It took away some of the frizz in my hair and it left it with a good shine. And I like it. And I got this on Sally's. And they have different sizes. They have a small one, which is maybe like this. They have like a medium one, which is like this. And then they have this, it's a large one. This is all they had. And this one cost me $20. And the small one was like $6, I believe. So, you know, obviously the middle one is like, might have been like 16 or something like that. But yes, I would recommend everybody who went out and get some argan oil for their hair. And it doesn't even take, like, a lot to satisfy your hair. Just a little bit. You don't want to overdo it. Next, NYC Individual Eyes is created for brown eyes. I think it's called 938 Union Square. But I really like this eye palette. One, because it already comes with a base, a primer. It comes with a primer. And then it comes with an um, illuminator. I think I'm saying that right. Which kind of can take the eye color, or, you know, lighter, you know, if you want to. But, you know, it comes with a highlight. Yes, this is the highlight. This is the all over lid. And these two are for the crease, you know, like, the crease. And I love it. This is my go-to eye kit when I wanted to be fancy and put a, little, put a little shadow on. Granted, I don't really put eyeshadow on because it's the summertime and it's hot. And you're wiping it off. <laughs> That's why, you know, in this, haul, in this video... There's no foundation, there's no concealer, there's really no powder because it's summer, it's hot. I'm not really going to be doing all that. If I want a little color, I'll just put some bronzer on, a little blush, and I'm going to call it a day. Mm. Next, we have eyeliner, liquid eyeliner. So it looks like that. And this is um, Wet n Wild. And my friend Portia put me on to this because she did my makeup for my spring summer lookbook. And I like that. So, kudos to Portia. This. This is another one from Kiss. And it has a chunkier lid. I mean, chunkier tip. Which, if I want to just, you know, do a deep eye line, you know, boom. I'll just use this instead of this because I would have to use more strokes. And this is kind of like a one deal thickness all around. But I prefer this one more than this because I don't really wear thick eyeliner anyways. But yes, if you want to get into the liquid eyeliner but you don't want like the pen, you know how old school pens was when you dip it in the ink and you just, yeah, I don't like those. I think I have one. Alright, this is what I'm talking about. I hate these little pens. 
Make it like that. It look like this. You can dip it in here. There you go. See? This is the... I don't get anything. It's my fault. I've never used this. This is by e.l.f. anyways. You see anything? That? This sucks. So you use this. And then you just apply like a tiny bit of pressure. Not even much. But it comes out like that. And then my jumbo. Let's put it on. You see? So get you those. Those are cool. If you have a vans from the pencil, the lead one, and if you have vans from the charcoal pencil. Now with the charcoal pencil, I use that for my waterline. Yeah, waterline. Because, I don't know, this stuff begins in my eyes, and my eyes get black, and I'm just like, no, thank you. So, I use that for my top lid, and I stay with the charcoal pencil for my bottom lid. Also, this thing, uh, there we go. From Victoria's Secret. Portia put me onto this too. It's actually a lip exfoliator. And it comes in like this. And then it has a lip balm at the top. And you put it on like this. And it exfoliates the lips and takes the dense dead skin cells out. And you know, since I got like big clips and stuff. It's like very helpful to keep them staying beautiful and you should go for like 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. But yeah, if you don't, you know, want to go to Victoria's Secret, you can definitely make this on your own at home using oil and sugar. But that's the cheap way to do it. Naturally, use oil. You can use, you know, olive oil, canola oil, vegetable oil. I don't know any type of oil you want to use on your lips and sugar. I wouldn't really recommend salt because it'll probably taste nasty. At least with the sugar, if you can see in your mouth, you'll be like, hmm. Okay. Mm -hmm. You know, throw it all. And I also use this when I wear those lipsticks that's like 24 hours, 14 hours, 10 hours, and they don't really come off and I need them to. This works um good because I'll be like, mm -hmm. something about this song. Look, uh, but yes, Elves from Victoria's Secret. And then you just open it up from the top and you still lip balm. I actually, you see this like gap in the middle? My nephew Micah, I asked if he wanted some, you know, for his lip shot to, to moisten his lips. And he just took his finger and went, so. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. And now, you have, like, kissable lips. And who doesn't want kissable lips? If no, I ain't kissing nobody. <gasps> On to a book. This book is called, May's book is called, I love your style. And this how to define and refine your personal style by Amanda Brooks. And in this book, she talks about all of the different style categories, you know? Like, yep, classic. I don't even think you guys can see that. I think it might be like married or whatever. I don't know. But she talks about the classic 
people, you know, people who dress in like button downs and wear riding pants and like boots and very like tailored and nautical lips and this that's kinda like and then she talks about, you know, the Bohemian people, the minimal people. I didn't know this book helped me find out what type of person I am because I am a minimal person. I don't really dress flashy. I pretty much wear jeans and t-shirts, which is minimal. And I am, um, what else am I? Okay, I'm a minimal street, basic, cheap, chic style. After reading this book, that's what I come to realize what type of person I am. But I think this, this book is really good because as me wanting to become a stylist, I'm able to put my clients in a category and be able to style them better and more in their comfort zone. And, you know, she has like pictures and all this other stuff and um, of like icons that suits that type of genre and she has like reference in the back like more books you can look at or movies and all this other stuff so I really like this book and I encourage everybody who likes fashion to get this book because it's really good I guess it's the Urban Outfitters for $20 and I love Urban Outfitters books. I get a big chunk of my books from Urban Outfitters. So go get it. Uh -huh. Next. Oh, May movie of the month goes to The Avengers. <gasps> I love that movie. I'm a comic nerd. Not really. I don't read comic books, but I will go to the movies and see the movies. I would. I wouldn't wait to come out on DVD. I'll actually go and support it. But The Avengers was really, really good. I didn't really see much movies. I only saw that and Thing Like a Man. And Thing Like a Man, it was good. But The Avengers is way better. Like, that's the type of girl I am. I'm not Thing Like a Man girl. I just went there because my movie The Avengers was letting out and I mean we saw that it like kind of just started so we kind of snuck in there and got a two for one mm. but yes go see The Avengers if you haven't seen The Avengers Think Like a Man was also a good movie too it was but I just like The Avengers way way better mm, 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 mm. uh huh so that is it for my May favorites. Also, also, uh, if you're watching this, this is going to be an update on my channel in the future for the month of June. Did I? Oh, I think I put in my April favorites. That I was on this kind of like Melanie diet where I only drink water and I've, I've, I think I lost like two pounds. <laughs> That's because I was like not eating right. I know like if, and I wasn't exercising whatsoever. But I lost like two pounds just like taking out other drinks and just like strictly drinking water. Although I dabble in orange juice and maybe coffee when I have to work and I'm kind of tired. But overall, I drank way more water than anything else in a month. And I've lost like two pounds. So for the month of June, I'm a terrible addict. I don't know how to control my eating. So I'm going to start and try to like work out. So I know when you work out, you push your metabolism up. And then therefore, you'll, you won't be so hungry all the time. And you won't have to like a lot of food when you do eat so for the month of June I'm gonna work out and see what that gets me anything else from my April favorite 
I think that was pretty much it. And for the month of June, I want to start working out. Hopefully, I can see some results with that. Plus, the drinking of the water, I should be losing like a little bit more weight. Hopefully, hopefully. And since I'm lazy, I'm going to be doing low impact stuff. Maybe yoga, Pilates. Not Pilates. Pilates is actually a little bit more vigorous than yoga. Yoga is kind of like, you know, I wouldn't say it's easy, but yeah. And then for my channel, I'm going to do a channel update. This channel right here, Chicago Hooligan, would be more of my vlog. And I'll take you guys around Chicago and, you know, do video diaries. And, and when I'm talking, I will upload them to this channel okay and I have another channel called broke ass fashion and that is going to be geared towards my fashion stuff like my outfits of the day and you know my face of the day and like um, maybe hauls and stuff that I have like the channel will be geared more towards the fashion and the beauty and this one will be geared towards like you know like it's gonna be like a vlog so that's it if you follow this channel go follow my other channel because I just recently uploaded a video it's a DIY um, t-shirt series on how to like distress your t-shirts and the video that's uploaded there is how to like fringe your t-shirt so you know go check that out go follow that that YouTube page as well and then you know we'll see how that goes hopefully because I know me as a person who watch YouTube there are people that I subscribe to who fashion I like but who vlogs I don't like and I and there's some people who vlogs I like but fashion I don't like so I'm just like why can't you guys just get two separate you know YouTube channels so therefore I wouldn't have to be like Ugh. Uh, every time I see like a video that I don't really like so that's why I'm doing it because I'm not a hypocrite you know what I'm saying so yes and it's summertime so I'm going to be doing a lot more vlogs and um, interviewing people on social issues so look for that and anything else I might be a, I'm gonna be a stylist for a TV host for a TV show. I'm pretty excited because I thought I was gonna be the stylist assistant, but I'm actually gonna be the stylist. Yeah, me. And also, I got asked to be like a manager for a rapper. I know the rapper. He's like my friend, but still, a manager gets ten percent and. I know more people in the music industry than in the fashion industry. So, it'll work. You know what I'm saying? Get that water. Anyways, until next time. Peace.